hi guys how are you doing this is pbn here again and uh, today i'm here to show you how to upgrade your at&t galaxy s4 to android 5.0.1 manually uh, this is because yeah this is because if your firmware is rooted your phone is rooted you're not able to update uh, your firmware over the year that is OTA update will not be possible if your phone is rooted since uh, AT&T is rolling out 5.0.1 updates which is long awaited update from April 7th everyone will be eager to get it but uh, yeah since your firmware is rooted you are unable to update uh, so here is a method where you can update your phone manually and one more coolest thing here is as you can see you if your phone is rooted once you update your phone will lose your root will lose root and uh, it's pretty hard to update these phones uh, again but uh, the coolest thing here is you can keep the root as you can see the firmware comes pre-rooted with busy box everything pre-installed so just go and flash it and enjoy you need not do anything you need not root again only thing you flash it you keep the root you keep everything you are good to go again just like you're using your phone before so let's get started uh, the first of all I have to mention about this XDA developers uh, website this is the post as you are seeing uh, I haven't done anything new the process the firmware everything and the uh, whatever the requirements everything is provided in this XDA post by a developer uh, he has done a really cool job regarding this I'm just um, wanting to introduce this process to you so that uh, yeah, you can get the benefits you can reap the benefits of it uh, I have done it myself and uh, as I showed you in my previous video I am running the latest Android that's released by Google that is Android Lollipop so what you have to do is this is the post and I'll provide the link uh, for this post uh, in the description below uh, well, please and a word of warning is that uh, whatever you do keep a backup uh, of your current firmware uh, without a backup do not proceed that's uh, one of the warnings and uh, whatever uh, please please ensure that you follow all these steps correctly what I'm going to show you or whatever is in the post uh, because uh, I'll not be responsible for any damage that you will cause you know, to your device while attempting these processes so the main thing here for the update is you need to download the firmware that is this one as you can see I see I double three seven OC three stock rooted firmware uh, but before that uh, for this upgrade we are not gonna use uh, any computers like our uh, the desktops laptops whatever you're not gonna need any cables you will flash it just in your mobile so for that you need this app called flash fire that is in the beta version what I have to do is first click on this link that's provided in the XTA post yeah it will take you to a page wait a minute yeah <coughs> as you click on this link yes this is the flash fire app page this app is still in the beta version and it's not yet available in the play store it's only available for the tester community like uh, as you can see I have joined this community uh, there's a button called join community uh, you you have to use your Google Play account whatever the account you have logged in uh, in the Google Play you have to use that account to join this community and then they will provide you a link once you join the community they will provide you a link to download the application uh, what you're just doing is you are logging in as a tester for this uh, application you're saying that you will test this application and uh, you will be logged in as one of the testers and uh, when I click on the second link you will see it uh, quite soon uh, page appears saying uh, uh, some certain rules and become a tester okay I have to log in so which I'll do later Wh what it is is I'll show certain terms and conditions you have to agree to it and say yeah okay I'm ready to become a tester of this and then they will 
they will provide a link where you can download the flash fire application pretty much that's it wait a minute please yeah then you can download the flash fire application which i will show you uh later which i'll show you later and then once you download it please do install it and uh, open and agree to all the conditions that's uh, that will be shown in the flash fire application that's the uh, that's one app that you will need uh to upgrade your phone and second thing is the firmware uh, the links are provided in the xda post you have to download two files this is the firmware file which is a 1.4 gigabyte so you have to download that huge file and the other one it's 38 mb partitions file you have to download the partition file also so downloading part that's it guys and the rest of the part i'll show you and please do make sure that you read all the instructions given in the xta post thoroughly like three to four times uh, before you do anything and use my video just as a reference because i will not show the actual flashing of the firmware just because uh, if i do that it will reflash the firmware again oh uh, i am already running android 5.2 and if i reflash uh, some problems may occur so i will not flash it again i will show the procedures definitely to help you do that and since i have provided the link to this post you can read all the procedures again, uh, completely on thoroughly so let me go back once you download the application this is the application actually wait a minute i'll show you yeah yes i think you can see here the red color one this is the application and uh, these are the files uh, give me a second i'll show you these are the files that you have to download yeah as you can see i double three seven oc three stock partitions dot zip it's 38 mb and uh, this is the firmware file that you will download which is about 1.4 gigabyte which must be extracted the dot tar md5 this file must be extracted which is about 2.7 gigabyte once you extract it, it will be 2.7 gigs and you have to place these two files that dot tar file that's extracted from the rar file and the zip file in either internal storage or the sd card it's your choice uh, you can uh, place it any way you want and then yeah as i showed you the app is this one flash fire yeah flash fire is the app what you do is just open it uh, first time you open it it will ask for root permissions uh, be sure you will grant it and yeah hit agree and uh, this is it this will be the home page of uh, the flash fire application what you have to do is tap on the plus mark and uh, lots of uh, options will appear before you and select flash firmware package what you have to do is select flash slash uh, sorry flash firmware and uh, here yeah uh, make sure you uh, select the directory where you have the files for example now I have in USB drive A so uh, select the directory wherever you have placed the file and uh, go there and select the firmware file which is about 2.7 gigs mm, yeah it's here for me yeah as you can see 2768 MB that's nothing but 2.7 gigs you have to tap on it uh, as I said I will not do it now because it will take a very long time it's a long process or uh, once you tap on it it will take about 10 minutes to completely process the file and then it will show you a message say uh, saying yeah, yeah uh, md5 verification successful hit ok and uh, select system and boot in the next screen make sure you select system and boot and hit the uh, tick mark and uh, that's it uh, after this uh, as you can see below these when once you do that process below this a new display will occur like flashing for flash firmware and uh, certain details here a new display will occur and uh, that's the first procedure you have to do and uh, the second procedure is nothing but flash zip or OTA 
uh, you have to once again tap this and uh, at this time what you have to do is you have to select the partitions file once again go to the directory wherever you are go to the directory and uh, yeah select the partitions file this time yeah this is the partitions file this is the partitions file make sure you select that thing and once again yeah same procedure and uh, new display will occur and uh, finally you have to select wipe when you select wipe what you have to do is make sure everything is selected here except the internal storage do not select the internal storage uh, because that will wipe all your internal data select everything else and uh, okay press the tick mark as you can see here on the top press the tick and a new display will appear so there will be three displays one for flashing firmware one for flashing the zip or the OTA and one for wiping and you have you can drag them and place them in the order for example like this as you can see if I hold it okay here it's not possible but uh, yeah once you once the new displays will appear once the new display appears you can hold them and drag them wherever you want so the order to be placed is this one i'll show you as it's provided in the xda zip xda uh, website here it is yeah as I told you select uh, the partitions file first thing is uh, flash firmware package select this file press ok do all those things second is uh, and yeah as I said make sure boot and system are selected next uh, step is flash zip or OTA select that from the menu and uh, select the partitions file keep auto mount unchecked and the third is wipe and in wipe select all partitions except the internal storage yeah as you can see everything's right there and you have to hold them and drag them and place them in this order first will be wipe second will be a flash firmware package and third will be flash ota or zip yeah once all these steps are done if you have done that correctly a lightning bolt symbol will appear at the bottom which means or which indicates flash and you have to hit it once you do this all correctly uh, before yeah before doing it as I told you go through these steps thoroughly uh, in the uh, which is in the post some four to five times and do it and when you hit that lightning bolt symbol which means flash your screen will turn off a black screen will appear and certain messages uh, lots of messages indeed will scroll up and that's it uh, you have to you have to do nothing else keep your phone aside do this correctly and keep your phone aside for about 10 to 15 minutes the flashing will be done everything will be done and finally your phone will boot up uh, for the first in the first boot it will uh, stop at the AT&T splash screen uh, even that said here AT&T splash screen for about two to five minutes and uh, then it will boot up and uh, once you boot you make sure you reboot it again so that there will be no lags or sluggishness whatever mm, once you reboot you are good to go you can configure whatever you want uh, your accounts your passwords everything and yeah it's just like a new phone it will run smoothly and it will most most importantly run android 5.0 so i'll provide the link the most important thing uh, in the description and as you can see this is the android 5.0 i have done this so there's no harm if you do it correctly that's the important thing you have to do it correctly otherwise you may run into certain problems which obviously you don't want to so uh just uh, give me a second i'll show you which version it's running as you can see if i go to settings which i'm not able to find now okay here it is yeah it's completely android 5.0 ui yeah it will run 
Android version 5.0.1 it will run the lollipop version yeah this is the Android lollipop version and uh, most importantly you will not lose your root access you can keep the root enjoy root you need not root it again and that's, uh, that's the most coolest thing is the firmware is uh, pre-rooted and uh, if you don't know what's root then uh, don't try this at all because this really needs root access so that's it guys i hope it will help you a lot because i know most of you will be eager to update your rooted at and galaxy s4 to android 5.0 and uh, that's it if you like this video uh, as usual please do subscribe to my channel for more cool new videos and give it a thumbs up and signing off thank you goodbye peace